what is up my crazy subscribers, MBO7 here. I'm kidding guys, that was not Ambio 7 in the background destroying an Xbox 360, that was just a random clip that I found in YouTube. And by the way, if you guys want to search that clip, just search up uh, Crazy Girlfriend Breaks Xbox 360. It should be like the first result on your YouTube thing. So, um, by the way, Ambi, if you're watching this, I know you're not that crazy. Kinda. Maybe. If you are going to send death threats, still send it to your nuclear pro. He'll be my messenger for now. So, um, anyways, today I'll be featuring my first subscriber Monday, like since forever. Like, it's been like since 2013 because Black Ops 2 was the last time you can actually search through your friends list and, you know, search their recent games, like, like with no problem. And, um, well, I did that la this year and I found out barely this week because I thought it was impossible. So, um, I barely started doing this like this week and I'm like, holy shit, you can actually see people's recent games. And, you know, the first one that I found out was Ambio7 because she's, like, the first one in my friend list. So, um, yeah, I, I saw this gameplay. And I'm like, all right, I'm going to feature her here. So, anyways, Ambio7 has been subscribed, like, since, like, two months, I think, since I've known her. So, uh, Ambi, you know, my first subscriber Monday. Hopefully, you, guys, hopefully you enjoy your own game clip because I cannot believe you missed so many shots. Like, it was they were, like, literally in front of you. I'm not sure if you're, like, dreaming or something, like, but... <laughs> whatever so anyways um yeah guys you guys want to play with ambio 7 her psn id name will be in the bottom right corner you'll probably be blocked though because she doesn't know you so just warning you guys so anyways uh today's topic is about the division it's going to be released like in a few hours it's already march it's about to be march 8th and um well we're going to be talking about the division and the reason why is because i've decided to buy the game and the thing is, I've been giving a lot of crap about this game. I've been going like to different trailers and different gameplays and different, you know, oh, like one hour gameplay or whatever. Like, and I saw the comment section, a lot of people were praising it. I'm like, are you fucking blind? You know, it's Ubisoft, you know, they haven't done anything good lately. And uh, the reason why I keep saying that is because of Watch Dogs. You know, I bought the game, I bought the season pass, thinking like, oh, this is going to be the next Grand Theft Auto or something. That game let me down, man. I was so upset that I bought the season pass. I was like, nah, I'm just going to give this away, the season pass. I gave it to, like, uh, Rathelis, another YouTuber. I gave it to her, and I'm uh, thinking she didn't even use it either because she didn't like Watch Dogs either, I'm guessing. She never gave word of what happened to Watch Dogs. So, anyways, um, so yeah, Watch Dogs left me a bad taste. Another game that left me a bad taste with the same kind of style was Destiny. Destiny was a fucked up game, to be honest. That was a repetitive, fucked up game. And uh, but didn't like it at all. It was a freaking waste of sixty bucks right there. And I ended up trading that game for Advanced Warfare. So, yeah. So Destiny players, I'm sorry, but like I'm just, just I can't believe what people are still playing that game. It's just, no way, man. No way. The grind is just serious in that point. Like it's just super repetitive. And you know, since Destiny kind of left, left me a bad taste with with the looting and you know the, the with the lagginess and all that shit. Like I'm thinking it's gonna happen again with the Division, and it's getting hyped already. So. Uh, and by the way, the division is, is combined with Ubisoft, and I'm like, shit, Ubisoft, the division is the same style as the Destiny, I'm like, oh my god, it's gonna fucking hurt, you know, to waste 60 bucks on that game, but I'm still willing to waste it, because I'm like, maybe it's not the way I think it is, because, you know, I'm going 50-50 with this thing, but, I don't know, man, but I'm still buying it, <laughs> I'm still buying it, I'm probably gonna show it here, and I'm probably gonna show it with, uh, with a camera, with a face cam, and... You know, for sure you guys are going to enjoy that gameplay with my ugly face. So, it'll be the first time since I, you know, i shown my face, like, since a long time ago. I think it's been, like, more than five months or something. So, um, so yeah, I'll be showing it with a face cam, and and let's see what it's all about, because I did not play the beta. I did not see any gameplays on it, though. Even though I did say, I did search up some gameplays, but all I did is just watch, like, the first 30 seconds of it. I'm like, that's it. I'm not going to watch anything else. And so I don't even know what guns are in it. I don't even know uh, how the menu looks. I don't even know how the map looks. I don't even know what to expect from the Dark Zone. I don't even know what to expect from the map itself. So I'm going in there fresh, man. So, yeah, I'm, like, super clueless about this game. But I've still criticized it, though, because it's Ubisoft. And Ubisoft fucked me over on Watch Dogs and the crew and fucking Far Cry 2. Like, 
I played Far Cry 4. I bought that game like two years ago. And um, it was a fun game, to be honest. But I was like, it's super similar to Far Cry 3. Like, they didn't, they didn't do anything innovative about it. So, um, coming out with Far Cry Primal this year, it was just like Far Cry 4 without guns and cars and and bombs. It was just like fucking sticks and stones and rocks. Like, that's it. It's fucking bare bones game. The fuck? So, um, I believe Far Cry Primal should have been a DLC, to be honest. It shouldn't have been a full game. But it was retailed at full price, you know, 60 bucks right there and there. Fucking DLC, man, I swear. They don't know how to make games, man, I swear. Ubisoft is just fucking up their freaking games. And, um, so, well, guys, what do you guys think? Do you think this could be a good thing or a bad thing? The Division is going to be a good game. I don't know, man. But I'll play it here so you guys can be aware of the game. And I'll probably do a review on it, like, real quick or something. Like, my first impressions. And, you know, I'll be playing it with a face cam so you guys can actually see my face. And I don't know. I'm not, like, doing, like, a voiceover on it. Like, this video is actually going to be, like, actual reaction on it. So, that is it, guys. That's my question to you guys. The Division, is it going to be a flop or not? So, I'll see you guys later. And subscribe for more Call of Duty.